What's up everyone? My name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today's news, I had to talk about this today. This is when I heard about this game having a sequel, it's confirmed for E3 2014. I got excited. But sadly, my uh, happiness slowly deteriorated because of the developer that's behind this. Now, if y'all didn't know already, it is confirmed that Homefront is going to be at E3 2014. It's going to be called Homefront The Revolution. This is the sequel to Homefront that came back out in, uh, I think it was 2011. Now, you're going to see some still shots of Homefront uh uh, the revolution, but you also going to see gameplay of the old home front, which was one of my favorite first person shooters coming up. Um, uh, sadly it's not in HD because this was in the early phases of my YouTube channel, but I'm going to show you some of the things. These are like some of my best replays, uh, montages displaying the physics of this, the, this game that I like so much. Now, my biggest concern for Homefront The Revolution is not the storyline, not where it takes place. They're going to still keep the original storyline of, you know, what if America was occupied by Korea, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be open world, blah, blah, blah. I really don't care about that. I was excited for the All Live, but it is said that the developer Crytek is going to get their hands on this Crytek UK and I thought about this and I got I got scared because if you don't know already, Crytek is the ones behind Crisis 3. And the reason why I am concerned is I hope they don't put cloaking in this game, this sequel. Because if you look at the Homefront, the Revolution trailer, they do actually, is it actually is futuristic a little bit. They do have drones and stuff like you will see in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. But I was just like, oh my gosh. You know, I believe that Homefront would have been as good as Call of Duty. Because Homefront did have great collision detection, great gun, gun power, um, a consistent run. The only thing about it, the engine was kind of dated, but we got the Crytek engine now. We got the Crytek engine that powered Crisis 3, 1, and 2. This is going to be something really good, and I, I'm looking, really looking forward to, I'm looking more forward to Homefront, the Revolution, than I am Battlefield, uh, Hardline and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That's just me because I liked um, the original Homefront. The maps were good. They had battles. You had vehicles. You had perks. You just had pure chaos. I mean, they had lobbies. They had um, they had voice chat. They had a lot of the basic things that I think most first-person shooters outside of the popular ones always miss. And it was a really good game. In my opinion, a really good game. And I, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. It's going to be released uh, late 2015, uh, fall. So that's going to be really good. I am really looking forward to this. Homefront, the revolution. I hope it's good. I hope it's a contender to Battlefield, to Call of Duty. I'm not saying he, they, they got to be number one, but I just wanted to be like a close second or third. Just a very close second if it can, if it can be that. But there y'all go. There y'all have it. Um, yeah, uh, let me know what y'all think, community. Are y'all looking forward to this sequel as much as I am? Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like what you saw today, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. So I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.